Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's uh, feeling a little bit crazy right now. point probably everybody's been affected in some way by coronavirus I'm doing pretty good I'm just hold up here at the house with uh, my family uh, trying to wait this thing out um, despite everything I'm feeling pretty lucky I know there's a lot of people out there who are having a much harder time than, than I am um, I know it's been a while since I posted a video um, this week I was supposed to be in California with my friends Casey and Nick kind of doing a repeat of uh, the trip I took last year That was gonna be my first video for this season. My first real video for this season. Uh, obviously that didn't happen. So instead, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that might be helpful to some of you who are, um, instead I'm gonna talk about something that might be helpful if you are stuck inside, either because of the weather or because you're in self quarantine or whatever. It's, a, it's an application called Zwift. And I don't know if you're familiar with Zwift. It's, it's an app um, that allows you to ride in a virtual world with other people. First things first, this isn't a sponsored post. I just think Zwift is doing something cool and I want to share it with you. Second, this isn't a comprehensive review of Zwift. Instead, I want to focus on a mountain bike specific feature that's been added. Zwift has been mainly focused on road biking and running, but last October they added a mountain bike specific trail. Zwift offers several places in the world to ride, both real and imagined. You'll find the trailhead in the world of Utopia. Choose Dust in the Wind, Mirror in the Mountain, or Squatch Quest and start pedaling. After a couple of miles, you'll come across a trail cutting off to the right. So here's the special feature of this course. If you have a phone mounted to your handlebar running the Zwift companion app, then you can steer your avatar through the course by turning your handlebars. It doesn't take much input to get the bike to turn. It does feel pretty weird to turn without leaning at all though. You can't just set off across the countryside. You still have to stay within kind of a designated area when you're steering. If you get off the boundaries of the trail, your speed drops to zero. It's just kind of like hitting a wall. It's obvious that the course designers want you to think about line choice when you're riding here. If you get offline, there's a noticeable drop in your speed. And if you hit the right line, you'll see messages like nice line. As you ride through the course, you might notice some X's and arrows on the ground. I think these are there to indicate the preferred line choice. All right, so this isn't gonna replace outdoor riding anytime soon. But you know what? It's kind of fun and interesting, and it does a good job of keeping you engaged when you're on the trainer. So I'd like to see Zwift move forward with this and expand on what they're offering. I think it's kind of a fun idea. Let me know if you've given this course a try. What do you think about it? And what are you doing to stay fit and active and engaged when you can't get out to ride bikes? I hope you're all staying safe out there. Um, stay home, ride this thing out. If you are out riding your bike, please take it easy. Uh, this is not a time you wanna end up in the hospital. Our medical res resources are being gonna be stretched pretty thin, I think, in the, in the coming weeks. All the injuries I've had have been from dumb little crashes, like where I wasn't, didn't feel like I was pushing it hard, but just fell. So please just uh, know your limits, take it easy. There'll be time for charging later in the summer when things have uh, settled down. Um, another thing, you know, there's a lot of small businesses that are suffering from this thing. Since this is a mountain bike channel, I'm going to kind of talk about the, your local bike shop in particular. Um, a lot of those places, at least in the Twin Cities here, are doing, you know, curbside 
pick up or you can order online and have something shipped. So if you're in a, a place financially where you can afford to buy some extra bike parts or you can, uh, you need, if your bike needs service, take it in. Let's, let's support these business, businesses. We want them to be there after this whole thing is over. So um, just hang in there, everybody. It'll be over soon enough.